So we've gone over motion scroll effects, we've gone over opacity scroll effects, and now we're going to go over slideshow scroll effects. So to access the slideshow scroll effects, I'm going to click on scroll effects, and it's the third button here. So motion is the first, opacity is the second, and uh, slideshow is the third button. If you don't see the scroll effects panel, simply click on window, and then click on scroll effects. Very good. So I'll click it again, and I have it here in my panels. So first we want to create a slideshow. So I'm going to go to object, insert widget, and I'll click on slideshow. And I just want a basic slideshow. Very good. And I'll just place it right there. And at first you have three images, but then you can replace the images. So I'll click on this blue circle with the arrow to bring out the slideshow options. Here where it says add images, I'll click the folder and then I'll just search for my folders there. My folder with the images. So I'm going to add about eight images here. So I've selected all these images and I have, I have them here. So I'll just select them and then I'll click open to select those images. And then it just replaces those initial images with the images I selected. So now I have eight images in my slideshow. So if I go to file, preview site or preview page in browser, and I go through the slideshow, I can see that I have those eight images that I've placed in there. So what I want to do with the slideshow is I want to make it 100% width. So I simply select inside here until I've selected the image and I know I've selected it when I see these uh, rec these squares around the image and then we have the 100% tool right up here or the 100% button so I'll click on it and now my slideshow is 100% width and it covers the entire Adobe Muse website very good and basically that's all I need and now if I click file preview page in browser I have this 100% width slideshow. And what I want to happen is that when I, when I scroll, let's say I scroll every 100 pixels, I want the image on the slideshow to change. And the way we achieve that effect is through the slideshow scroll effect in Adobe Muse. So I'm gonna click on scroll effects. I'm gonna click on slideshow. So I'll click on slideshow right here. And then I wanna switch slides every, let's say every 100 pixels. And in order for us to see the change, we have to fix this slideshow to the top of the browser so that it stays fixed. And then as we scroll, these slides will change. So now if I go to File, Preview Page in Browser, we see this slideshow is going to stay fixed. And if we scroll, well, we need to add more scroll space here. So I'll grab this tab and I'll bring it all the way down. like so. So now we have plenty of scroll space. And now if I go to File, Preview Page in Browser, and I scroll, we see that the image changes as I scroll. So I'm scrolling and the image is changing. Very nice. Very good. And we can have the slideshow uh, come in from different, instead of the transition being fade, we can have it be horizontal. So now if I go to File, preview page in browser, and I scroll, the image will change horizontally. Okay, it's a nice way to manually be able to change the slides. And I could even, if I click on the slideshow again, I could change it to 200 so that we have more time to see the image before we scroll. So I'll go to file preview page in browser, and I'll scroll. And as I scroll, the image images change. Very good. And we can do vertical by selecting the option in the slideshow. So the transition, we can set it to vertical. And now if I go to File, Preview Page in Browser, the slide will change vertically as we scroll. And the other option in the slideshow scroll effect is the autoplay. So we can say once it reaches the top of the browser, I want this slideshow to autoplay with the autoplay settings that are in here. Uh, yes, autoplay, it's going to autoplay every 3.5 seconds, the 
the, uh, the image will change and the transition speed will be 0.5 and it'll resume after three seconds. Of, after you manually change the images, it's going to resume after three seconds. So I'll go to File, Preview Page and Browser. And actually, once it hits the top of this key position, so if I put the key position here, once this key position hits the top of the browser, it's going to start to autoplay. So I'll go to File, Preview Page and Browser. And if we leave it like that, nothing is going to happen. And as we scroll, now it's going to autoplay. And we can see it's autoplaying right now. There it is, it just automatically plays. And if we go back up, it stops the autoplay. So now the images will just stay there, but if we scroll down again, it starts to autoplay once again. It's an interesting effect, and depending on what you're going for with your website, this can be very useful. And you can also manually go through the slideshow like so and change the slideshow settings. So that's the slideshow scroll effect. I'll go back to my Adobe Muse website. So we've gone over the motion scroll effects, the opacity scroll effects, and the slideshow scroll effects. The next scroll effects we're going to go over is the edge animate scroll effect. So I'll go over that in the next video tutorial. Thank you.